Thanks for watching this short introduction video for pre-security. We were founded with the simple idea, what if we could predict a cyber event before it caused harm? Similar to how the weatherman will predict if it's going to rain or not tomorrow by using things like temperature, humidity, and other information, our process is the same, just with a different kind of data. This brings us to our first challenge in the industry, data and data normalization. If you've worked with the traditional SIM tool in the past, odds are you are familiar with the difficulty of having your SIM parse and normalize all of your security data. Typically, a parser or technical add-on is needed for each data source you want to bring into your tool. This often takes a significant amount of time and ongoing maintenance to have sufficiently normalized data that your SIM can use. And what happens if one of the data sources changes logging format, which often occurs? The pre-security platform is able to dynamically interpret and normalize data into a common format without an engineer having to create any configurations. Our patent-pending parserless technology, Log to Natural Language Processor, takes care of this tedious task, saving time and effort. This also enables us to use natural language across our entire platform. Another major difference you'll find when using pre-security is our ability to use Gen AI to power dynamic detections and predictions. Our advanced predictions notify you of potential cyber attacks before they occur, aiding in threat hunting and helping you stay ahead of major cyber events. Our detections use risk and anomaly-based scoring to present your security analysts with highly contextual and correlated alerts, allowing for high fidelity and low volume. These predictions and detections are dynamically generated and are based off the data feeding into your system. How we interact with our data also changes. We now can use natural language, opposed to learning a new complicated query syntax, empowering security analysts new to our platform to quickly find value without having a steep learning curve. Let's take a look at how this works in a demo. Here on the landing screen, we can see the various detections and predictions that are being produced. With one click, I can drill into the asset predictions to begin my threat hunting. This page shows me a list of predictions for my environment. I can use natural language in the search bar to filter this list. Say for example, I wanted to search for any potential ransomware event. Let's take a look at this event. The triage information window shows me all relevant information of why we think this attack is likely to occur. We can observe our dynamically generated risk score, the amount of correlated events, and gain context with an explanation, summary, and detailed analysis. Recommendations are provided should we want to move into our next steps. Scrolling down, we can see how we came to this conclusion and the various models used. We see four main models for this prediction event, Markov, MITRE ATT&CK, Lockheed Martin, and our own AI-powered SOC expert analyst. We do not rely on just one model. Instead, we incorporate knowledge from each model, adding in contextual evidence to determine if this warrants a response. Speaking of a response, I can execute the recommended actions with our SOAR GPT, our built-in SOAR platform. SOAR will help guide us on the next actions we should take to prevent this ransomware incident. In this case, it is providing us with an email template to reach out to the impacted individual so they can take action. Another way we can interact with our data is by using something we call SOAR GPT. SOC GPT allows us to ask questions about our environment so we can gain situational awareness or if we need to interrogate our data. For example, we can ask SOC GPT, give me a prediction on source countries that may attack me. Using historical data combined with threat intelligence, SOC GPT is able to provide which countries will most likely continue to attack me. Recommendations are again provided to mitigate these potential attacks. This can also be turned into an actionable report, allowing us to share with stakeholders of our findings. 
we can also use voice input to interact with SoftGPT. What does the HTTP status code 502 mean? The HTTP status code 502 means bad gateway. This indicates that a server, while acting as a gateway or proxy, received an invalid response from an inbound server it accessed while attempting to fulfill the client's request. It's often a temporary error. Whether you are looking to save time with our parserless technology, reduce your data ingestion costs with our no ingest base pricing, or leverage our advanced Gen AI predictions and detections, the pre-security platform can help in an ever-changing threat landscape. Thanks for watching.